Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome back to the Video Game Nexus Let's Play of Banjo-Kazooie. Last time, we went through and did everything in Gobi's Valley, then made a quick pit stop to Freeze Easy Peak to get the power-up uh, Jiggy from Boggy, or Bogey, however you say his name, I still don't remember. And in this episode, uh, you may have noticed that the musical notes were slightly different. That's because I accidentally saved over the save state slot uh <laughs> that we had so apologies for that as we have to go through and basically go in a file that we haven't uh completed necessarily but uh next episode it should have everything all set i do have the save still uh, uh bleh, up just gotta go and grab something from that one. But with that being said, let's go ahead and open up Mad Monster Mansion. And let's come back to where where the entrance is for this lobby area. Be right back. Hey, there's a mumbo token up here. Hey, gumbo, gumbo. Getting back over to the Goey's Valley portrait. Crossing over this way will lead us to another opening. And this one's actually one of the bigger uh, level entrances, as you can see. In fact, if we get up on top of this hill, we can see that there's another gate over this, or there's a gate over this way. I don't know why didn't I said there was another gate. Well, I guess you could technically count the door to the level B the gate as well. Let's go ahead and break that down. Because we are going to have to go in there when we get done with the level. But with that being said, let's kick it to it. Seeing as how there's no more power moves to collect, we are now basically just going for the motions of collecting everything that we can in the level kicking us off we can head into the mansion itself to find some new enemies being just reskins of the sewer slugs from planker's cavern and some skeletons the skeletons i don't think you can actually beat i think if anything you can uh just stun them we got some flying bats around here, so we gotta be careful with those guys. I believe we're gonna want to head over up to the second floor. All these, yeah, all these are just item rooms. We don't necessarily have to go into them, but we do need to go into one of them at a later date or later time. Let's first actually head into the cellar. The cellar in and of itself actually has some interesting stuff. Uh, for instance, we have another enemy over here, a ghost. That's kind of a pain in the ass later on. Breaking into all these, there's not really a whole lot. One of them has a mumbo token. We actually need to get to any. And we got our first jiggy. Relatively simple and easy. And I can also hear a Jinjo in here. There he is. With only one barrel that we can't break, uh, we're gonna have to come back here later because that barrel actually has, or is the hiding place for one of the stop and swap engines. Continuing on through. Actually, I will take that money. Nothing much else in here, so we can actually just head that back out. Heading up onto the second floor, however, will net us a ton of rewards. From a bunch of eggs that we can collect to a few notes. I believe uh, there are four notes in each of these. Uh, 
each of the corners of this house, including on the second floor. Now it's got some extra room. I believe this room in and of itself. Yes, this is uh, the room that I'm thinking of. Let's go ahead and grab that mumbo token because we're gonna need 20 of them. And seeing as how we're playing this level out of order, uh, we're gonna need all the all the mumbo tokens we can get. Breaking into this room, lead us into the room where there's an empty honeycomb piece. It's down by the floorboards, and we can't get it right now. We actually need to have the transformation. Take out that bat, because that bat's probably going to hit us. Here we have another Jinjo up here, and those four notes, as I was saying. Max is our second Jinjo. I honestly forgot about that. I was thinking that that was the last Jinjo. I keep, for some reason, thinking that the that green equals the last uh, Jinjo. How did I miss that? <laughs> Heading into the first room over here, we got some notes that we can collect. As well as some angry portraits. Another ghost that we can take out. Hey. Not much else we can grab here, aside from another Jinjo. Now let's get out of there. Going on to the other side will lead us to yet another window that we must open. And it's a room that has a bunch of ideas in it. Also, careful with the fire. I know it does look a little like a little graphical thing, but nah, it can actually hurt you. Case in point. I didn't even think that it would when I was first playing this game, uh, cause I've never actually hit it, but yeah. So, uh, I guess you can count that as something new. Going down the chimney, we'll let us see. There's a jiggy in a ghosty ghost. Now you would think that you would have to, you know, sneak all the way up there, you know. She'll be so mad now that it's gone. How would she be able to put her boot up his ghostly butt? How does that make sense? Also, so I was right. Uh, in a field recording, I was talking about how the font for uh, the notes and everything in the level was yellow at one point, but I guess it really is only just in this room. That's the second time I missed that. And the first time that I actually didn't even do it in the game. Probably just double check. All right, that's everything. Let's go ahead and bust down the door to go back outside. Now I do believe that we have collected everything that we can in, up in this little area right now. So let's go ahead and head over this way. Actually, no, not that way yet. We actually need to go over here. There's another gate. I wonder if I can see it. I also wonder if I can just have dead air. There we go. Got some more music going on over here. You know, now that I think about it, I give shit 
to uh, ukulele a lot for that one, or for the very first level of having uh, hidden notes, or hidden quills. Uh, in the very first level, where, like, one is, like, super hidden. And, honestly, you would think that I would get mad at Banjo for that one, especially in this level. But, that one's just easy to find. And, plus, it's probably because the levels are not as, uh, big as they were back then. Or, when this game came out. I don't know why I was trying to say that ukulele came out first. <laughs> we almost got all the jin jinjos. I almost said jiggies. Bashing into this switch will let us open up the chapel. Now we're gonna haul beat. Or haul bear butt. I probably would have made that at, at three seconds. I wonder if it's even possible to be able to make it into three seconds. But I don't agree. Go ahead and get rid of these ghosts while we can. So we don't have to worry about them. And climb up these little pews. Or are they pier pews? I don't know, I never went to church. You know, speaking of uh, the church, or inside the church, um, one of the things that I've noticed, and I'm pretty sure plenty of other people would also have noticed too, uh, there's no grunty laugh. I wonder if that was really only just for the demo for this little level because if you actually take a look at the demos for the level it's ju it's just um like the opening or not the opening bit but we're actually kind of getting up to it right now yeah like the demo basically started oh, i'm not gonna get up there it basically starts up on top of the piano Anyways, here we have Mozart. We have to follow him on the keys. I don't know, he, he said something that I was trying to get to, but I completely forgot about it. Anyways, it's basically just uh, follow the rhythm. And you would think with the amount of times that I've actually re-recorded this part, I've re-recorded this part about like four times, this being the fourth time, uh, I would get all of these. Not bad, Bear. But watch me. Copy this tune. And amazed I will be. Or I'll be. You know, if anything... I enjoyed this part a bit more than Tip Top Sting from Bubble Gloop Swamp. Only because it actually lets me follow the hand. And I guess they couldn't really zoom out all that way. But I guess it would also be even more difficult if you had to do it all in one sitting. The ghost disappears. Our music skills are mighty fine, so take this golden piece of mine. Climbing up up here, there's a few things. First of all, there's a skeleton. Whoa! That's the second time that's actually happened. And, um, now I think about it, since we're going through this, or going through the notions again, I'm going through this entire level again, um, there's actually a funny thing, or two funny things that have actually happened in the failed recordings. And I'm surprised that I got it to happen. Um, and I hope I still have the clips for them. I hope I didn't delete, like, the actual videos for them. But the thing that happened was I got 
both of the uh, fake uh, transformations. Where it's like, oh, you've you've activated the the special transformation, or like that you you've done something special in order to activate the the special transformation, like the hitting code or something like that. Or um, it come, it come. It had Mumbo be like, oh hey, you know I need my stuff washed. So basically, I got not only the Tyrannosaurus Rex. Uh oh. surprisingly whole again. Alright. I know we're not necessarily back over at the church, but we don't need to go back into the church anymore. So now that we've collected everything again, yes, even the gingos, let's get back into what we were doing. Going over here, we got some pots that have some eyeballs on them. I don't know what the hell happened with that with that one. Thank but simply all we gotta do is just throw in a few, uh, a few eggs. I mean, like, literally one to fur. That was surprising. Thank there we go. You. This one will come to life. are being difficult today. Oh my god. You wanna know what's funny? Is that out of all the times that I've actually gone this part of the level, I've always gotten all the shots like directly into the pot. This I'm missing. And ugh. How many eggs did these guys take? Alright, so I'm on like five. I'm just missing my shots on these pots again. Come on. There! There's Jiggy number four. Going for this maze, I don't think it has a jiggy, but at the same time, I could be wrong. Why don't we go ahead and continue collecting those notes? Well, hey! You just passed your best note score for this world! Yeah, that's what uh, Bottles will say every time if you happen to uh, not collect enough notes or if you happen to leave the level. Or, you know. You make a goof gum, and you fall to your death. <laughs> Gonna go out of uh, talent trot. Okay, maybe it was a bad idea. Drop down below. Drop down below and also get uh, a little bit of damage. Let's go for this head maze. Okay, we got a little bit of Pac-Man going on right here, but uh, we got power pellets. There we go. Musical notes. We got a beehive. I would have said a honey hive, but it's more of a beehive at this point. There's the last Jinjo. Oh. Ah, there's more no uh, feathers. 
You know, we may as well grab some of those. We do need them. And there's the last thing. Continuing over this way, there should be some more notes over here. No, but it's another Mumbo token, and I believe we have enough. Let's go ahead and just uh, scout out this area a little bit more. You know, <laughs> while we're still going through this, uh, I guess I can tell you guys a little funny thing that I was trying to do. Uh, recently, I actually tried to do a uh, recording for an old um, GameCube game for uh, Dragon's Lair 3D. Sorry, I was trying to remember what it was called. And um, <laughs> the the very first recording, I was doing fine, but I was. I was messing, I was slipping up on my words. And then, uh, the second recording that I did, I did a little bit better with it, but, um, I kept getting interrupted by Daphne because they have a hint system in that game. You guys will, will see it when we, when we get to it. Alright, so this is basically just the same thing as the Sandcastle, uh, puzzle. Oh, right, yeah. There we go. Ben Joe Kazuki. It's basically the same thing, but this time you don't have a... Uh, or you have a shorter time limit. You still have enough time to be able to do it. Oh, oh. Where's that egg? Just at the nick of time. The puzzle is solved. Take this thing and leave in this gloomy shed. I would have actually ended the episode right there, but I completely forgot that uh, most of the notes, or most of the uh, like last bit of jiggies that we need to collect all take place within uh, using the pumpkin. We're up to what? Six now? If I remember correctly? So there's a, j there's a jiggy in here, but we're not gonna worry about that because we're actually just gonna be the uh, pumpkin for the rest of this. In fact, um, once we get done with this little spot. Head back over to Mumbo's area. While I'm doing that, you guys can take a look at these little clips that I have. The uh, overworld, once again. Wait, what? Wait, what? <laughs> So now I'm gonna I'm gonna check this real quick. I looked up, looked down, hit the B button. 
Okay. So it looks like it is Ram. Whoa! <laughs> hey, we finally got it to happen. Oh, I didn't even notice that the that the count didn't go down. <laughs> yeah, so those were the two clips that I had for uh, Mumbo's uh, secret transformations. Let's see what happens now. Oh, looks like it's actually being serious. <laughs> that still got a good chuckle out of me because I wasn't expecting it. Anywho. Oh, wait. I forgot about the jiggy up here. Now back to Mumbo. After being turned back into a pumpkin, we actually head down into this little spot to collect ourselves yet another Mumbo token. Luckily, though, once we get done with uh, this, we will have a much better uh, count of everything. So the first thing we want to do is, I believe, head in here. I think this is the logo. No, wait, no, this is the empty honeycomb piece. Also, let's go stay here real quick. There we go. Yeah, for some reason, if you happen to get uh, uh, empty honeycomb piece and you leave right when it's turning in, you'll still get the honeycomb piece, but you won't get the healing. Explain that to me. Happy landings, little one. You know, that, that water doesn't look clean. And neither does the septic system. You know, I'll take that damage. I can't believe you went in there. Wash your hands. Filthy bear. Well, we took a small bath, so I guess that counts. <laughs> yeah, uh, kind of disgusting. Also, uh, I don't think we need to drop down, because we can just enter in from here. If you drop down, you just instantly get the jiggy. Oh no, you do need to drop down. Well, uh, shit. Down the warp pipe. All right, we only got one more jiggy left, and it's in the well. Along with the rest of the uh, musical notes as well. Whoa. That's all the musical notes, or all the musical notes, all the jiggies in this level, and all the musical notes as well. That's as well as my life flashing through my eyes. We have found all 100 notes. We have collected everything that there could be to an extent. I'm pretty sure we're missing something, I'll bet. But now, let's get the hell out of here. All right. And with that, Mad Monster Mansion is complete. Yep, that's everything. All right. Now, what's so special about this little area over here? Well, it has an hole that only a pumpkin can fit through. 
Going inside. We'll show Mumbo. And the ghost. But, I guess we'll go ahead and show that, what's in that little coffin, next time. So, next time on Banjo-Kazooie, we transform back into the Baron Bird to figure out what's in that little coffin, and then go into the next level of Rusty Bucket Bay. I'll see you guys next time.